Welcome back. Starting off tonight with some section football. It's a rematch between Mankato West and Mankato East. These two teams met two weeks ago in their regular season. West winning 28 to 7. Now they meet again in the playoffs. East wasting no time. First drive of the game. Gannon Gosh hits a Lucas Gustafson right on the money. A couple plays later, Gosh to a wide open Bradley Stoffel. East on the board first, up 7 0. East keeping the energy up. Gosh to Hayden Tischler. Tischler with the shake and bake. And there's no stopping him. He'll run that all the way in for the touchdown. East up 14 to 0. Second quarter now. The Cougars are back in the red zone. Logan Kleist runs it in. East up 21 0. West is looking to get some points on the board before the half. Charles Bobbles airs it out to L. Staley. What a grab by Staley. Scarlet inching closer. Bobbles to Aiden Betts for the completion, but the Scarlets weren't able to score before the half. East goes on to win 35 to 15. The Cougars will face Chanhassen in the Section 2 5A championship game this Friday. Section 2 2A playoffs. Waterville Elysian Morristown hosting Maple River. Defensive struggle early on. Maple River turning up the heat to force a three and out. Both defenses ready to play. Pass out in the flat. Wims Tarek Tolzman with a big clean hit as this goes for no gain. Physicality a common theme. Wim hands it off to Avery Breyer. Buccaneers pick up a big gain on the ground. Later, Gavin Atherton caps off the drive by driving across the goal line to score the game's opening touchdown. After a two-point conversion, Bucks lead 8-0. Eagles look to respond. Lucas Prohl returns the kick. Junior finds a crease and takes this out for a nice gain. Maple River with the great field with great field position, but nothing comes out of this drive. So Wim still leads 8-0. And the end Bucks go on to win by a final of 14-12. Wim takes on Triton for the Section 2-2A title on Friday. Section 3, 3A action. Wasika up 7-0 on Jordan. Blue Jays Kellen Klinger finds the Marius Russell SDSU commit. Makes a couple of moves for a nice gain. Wasika had to punt it away, but the defense does its job. Carson Onstead blows this play up in the backfield. Later, Jordan goes to the air attack. Colton Quillen in coverage. This pass is incomplete. Sloppy first half from the Wasika offense. Mitchell Schmidt picks this pass off along the sideline. Nothing for Jordan. Blue Jays try to get some more points before the half. Onstead across the middle for a big gain. Final play of this half now. This pass comes off awkward. Jordan, Jordan's Tyler Chitlin comes up with the interception, but Wasika lucky to take down the linebacker before he scores, which is huge at halftime. It's 7-0 Wasika. Jay scored 21 in the second half to win 28 to nothing. Another year, another Wasika Fairmont section championship final. Those two teams play each other Friday in New Ulm. College football action now. The Minnesota State Mavericks facing the Augustana Vikings. In the first quarter, Augustana QB Gunner Hensley finds Isaiah Hubber. He'll take that in for the touchdown. Vikings strike first up 7-0. Second quarter now. Hayden Eckern to Treshawn Watson. Watson reaching back, still makes the grab for the 32-yard gain. A couple plays later, Eckern finds Grant Guyette for the touchdown. Mavs go for two, but can't convert. Vikings lead 7-6. Vikings back in the red zone, but not on Joey Gettle's watch. Gettle with the INT. He runs that back 49 yards before he's hit out of bounds. Mavs won't get a TD out of the INT, but they'll get a field goal. Matthew Jager hits the 27-yard field goal to give the Mavs a 9-7 lead going into half. But Augustana took control in the second half as they defeated MSU 34-16. And the Mavs are now 6-2 on the season. The Minnesota State men's hockey team wraps up non-conference play tonight with a 1-0 win over 16th-ranked Omaha. The lone goal in tonight's match was scored by Adam Isley on the power play in the first period. Alex Tracy had 27 saves for his fifth career shutout. The Mavs extend the win streak to three games and will start up conference play next weekend on the road against Bemidji State.
The Minnesota State volleyball team was in action this afternoon at the Taylor Center taking on Augustana. The Vikings took the first set, but the Mavericks bounced back, winning the next three sets to defeat Augustana three sets to one. Avery Klein had 14 kills. Ellie Klein had 26 digs, and Brooke Bulwark finished the game with 47 assists. MSU Volleyball is now 14-6 on the season. That's all for sports. Now here's a look at the rest.